truth. You can't handle the truth. Hello, friends. Welcome into the Truth Serum, episode number 38 of the Truth Serum. Joey, the Truth Wagner with you. And, my friends, tonight we have some breaking news. As the Pittsburgh Pirates have traded their ace, their number one starting pitcher, Garrett Cole, he has been shipped off to the Houston Astros. And it is the end of an era in the Berg as the coal train motoring along to Houston. Well, folks, here is what the Pirates got in return for Garrett Cole. They got four pieces back in the deal. Here they are. Right-handed starting pitcher Joe Musgrove. Young Young right-hander has major league experience. Third baseman, Colin Moran. Again, very young. Only 34 at-bats in the major leagues. He is the Houston Astros' number five prospect. Pirates also get right-handed relief pitcher Michael Feliz. Over, over the last two seasons has pitched in the Houston Astros' bullpen at the major league level. And the final piece of the deal, outfielder Jason Martin, not ranked in any of the uh, Houston Astros top prospects list. He is currently in double-A. So that is the trade. Garrett Cole to Houston, back to Pittsburgh, Musgrove, Moran, Valise, and Martin. Now, folks, let's go through each of the pieces that the Pirates got individually. We'll start with the most known one. Right-handed pitcher, Joe Musgrove. He was one of the Astros' more higher-rated pitchers when he was coming up through the minor leagues. He's 25 years of age. In the major leagues, he has pitched in 49 games, 11 and 12, his win loss record, with a 452 ERA. He has started some games. He's also been out of the bullpen. And the scouting report on Musgrove is fastball in the low 90s, 92, 93 with his fastball. If he's in the bullpen, it ramps up to 95, 96. And that's what you saw in last year's playoffs when the Astros used him exclusively out of the bullpen during their World Series run. Also, has a plus slider, an average changeup, and the key to Joe Musgrove's success is having command and control of all of his pitches. If, he, if his command is on, he can be an effective pitcher. Especially now, he's coming to Pittsburgh, so he's coming into the National League, which is slightly easier for pitchers. Joe Musgrove is okay, but not super-duper great like Garrett Cole was when he was hyped up and coming through the Pirates minor league system. Here is the second part of the deal, third baseman. Colin Moran, currently the number five prospect in the Houston Astros organization. We'll see where he ends up on the Pirates list after everything with this trade has been finalized. But with Colin Moran, he's had a cup of tea in the major leagues, 34 at bats at the major league level, a 206 average with one home run. But he's very young, and he has a lot of opportunity to improve on those major league numbers. One thing he has done, folks, in the minor leagues, through all levels, is hit. He can hit with average, and he has power to the gaps. In the minor leagues, he is a lifetime 290 hitter. His scouting, re his scouting report is that he is a solid batting average and on-base percentage player. Those are the kind of players that the Pirates like to have in their lineup. 
high OBP, high average. He has average power for hitting power, and he is an average third baseman defensively. So Colin Moran has the opportunity to be a solid hitter and not be an A-plus prospect, but be a solid, above-average Major League ball player. Third part of the deal, and this is probably the player with the highest amount of upside, right-handed pitcher Michael Feliz. The young 24-year-old right-hander has pitched the last two seasons out of the bullpen with the Astros. The 513 ERA is struggling, but what is very encouraging, look at his strikeout numbers. 172 strikeouts and only 121 innings. That's very encouraging. This is a power pitcher. Fastball mid to upper 90s. Above average slider. Has an average changeup. Depending on his command, if he can rein in his command, he could possibly be a starting pitcher. But if not, with the power arm he has, Feliz can end up in the back of the Pirates bullpen as a late tag team duo with Felipe Rivero. That could be very successful down the road. And the final part of this deal, outfielder Jason Martin. Like I said before, he is not ranked in the Astros prospect list. He moved up to the double A level this past season at the double A level, had 11 home runs and 37 RBI in 79 games to go along with a 273 average. Martin is projected to be a solid batting average in OBP guy, so he can be a, a solid hitter can be a plus defender, but he's lacking in speed and in power, so it would be very interesting to see what he becomes as he continues to progress as he is the youngest player coming back in this deal, the 22-year-old currently in double A. Well, folks, uh, my view on this trade is that for the last two years, the Pirates have been showing us signs. Since they won 98 games back in 2015, they've been telling us for the last two years that they've wanted to rebuild. Two years ago, something I disagreed with vehemently, but how they've butchered the last two years, I, they need to retool here, get some younger players into the system, and try to build up their farm system for the next wave that will be coming this season and next year as well. My overall grade of this trade, uh, I, I'd say average in terms of Neil Huntington. There are some very interesting players that could be successful, like Musgrove could be a middle-of-the-rotation starter, Moran could be an everyday third baseman, Feliz is the one I'm most excited about with that power arm and the upper 90s fastball. He feels like he could be a very good fit at the back end of the Pirates bullpen with Felipe with Felipe Rivero and the outfielder in Double A, Jason Martin. I don't have a clue what he's going to be. He's a complete question mark in my eye. It's encouraging to see that the Pirates were able to get four pieces back for Garrett Cole, but I would have rather seen them get more upper end, high end, high upside talent because the Houston Astros have a very solid farm system. I would have liked them to at least try to get top their top prospect, the outfielder Kyle Tucker, 
or maybe their number two prospect, right-handed pitcher Forrest Whitley, or even their number three prospect, right-handed pitcher J.B. Bukowskis. I, I would have liked this deal more if they would have got one of those three players in the trade, but they did not, so my grade would be a C-plus on this deal, but we'll see how it works out. Well, friends, this is the episode of the Truth Serum, number 38, Garrett Cole, no longer a pirate, now a member of the Houston Astros. Memo to Bucko fans and memo to Major League Baseball. Pirates are waving the white flag. They have for sale signs everywhere. Trades are coming. The rebuild is coming. So, Pirate fans, uh, for this upcoming 2018 season, you might want to hide your eyes a bit. For this one. For the rest of the great crew, Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. A dose of the truth serum just for you. And friends, don't forget to check out this afternoon's 4-1 win for the Penguins. Also, Steeler game tomorrow afternoon. Penguin game, 7.30 at night. Hope to see you for those two. Good night.